this is pin G13. And we're checking out a pair of Literate G-Rock Barras. And I think both of these guys are really good and offer us a whole lot. Um, the one Dad has caught now is 30-4. He's a cornerstone back on a Fate Has It Sal. And guys, I think he compared to his brother when it seems here, maybe just a notch smaller in terms of size today. But guys, study this one's basic build, his basic function. He's extremely good. He's stout skulled, he's wide chested, really square up over that top and out through his hip. Watch him go. He's very correct in terms of how he puts that hip and hind leg together, which will allow him to grow into that skeletal mass as he gets bigger. Really good in terms of that center body dimension. Very good in terms of true muscle shape as well. Guys, I like this one an awful lot. He reads to me as one that's going to be easy feeding, easy doing, and one that you can kind of push or hold depending upon when that final show is on your show circuit this summer. But I like that guy an awful lot. And that's the Dash 4. His brother here, this is 30-1. Is it PM? 30-1. We get him out here going. Guys, I find this guy's the big robust barrel. He's stout, scald, he's big top. Check him out, that natural must or natural center body is depth of rib, rib through that center portion of his rib cage. You get behind him, very square from stifle to stifle, very shapely. Look how correct he is out of the back side of his blade into his hand loin junction. I like how he puts his feet down, walking away from you. He sets him down square at the ground. I think this guy is one that's kind of that fault-free, really cool design, powerhouse G-Rock Bears that's going to be a lot of fun as we get to go to shows. If you're looking to show to like Louisville, go to the Team Purebred deal. Go on to um, Expo. I think this guy will hit all of those. Or if you're looking for a powerhouse county fair barrel, this is another guy I think could fit that bill extremely well.